Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Bobby from GirlShades.com. Today I want to talk about cuddling. As is obvious, we're cuddling right now. This is the beautiful me joining me to teach you guys how to cuddle properly. So cuddling is very important. Some of you guys may be the kind of guys who just wants to fuck, come, roll over and pass out. Totally get it, been there, done it. What I like to do sometimes, but cuddling is very, very important post-coital, post-coitus because it creates bonding chemicals. Um, also, if you have super rough sex with a girl, which you should be having, uh, and if you need help actually having sex, then I'll put a video in the description below. Uh, if you need help even just getting sex, uh, well, this applies to not just sex. There's many situations to cuddle in, but you wanna be cuddling post-coitus, post-fucking. Uh, and if you need help actually getting to the point where you're getting laid, we actually have something called One Date that's gonna help you do that. We teach you a full, simple, complete process from meeting her to texting her, to getting her on a date, to uh, taking her home from the date, having sex with her and turning her into a girlfriend all in one date, hence the name One Date. So that's in the description below if you want to get to that point where you need this video for post, post, post coital positioning and cuddling. <laughs> Okay, so you cuddle uh, after sex because, um, especially if it's super rough sex, you are gonna have her in a thing called subspace. So uh, this comes from the BDSM community, uh, but it's a very accurate description of what happens after a girl gets really fucked because when you're having really rough sex, she's actually getting quite dominated and degraded. Um, she's consenting to it and she's enjoying it, but it can uh, create a feeling of like, oh wow, he just like, railed my asshole while pulling my hair and spitting on me and calling me a whore and then came in my ass and it's very intense and it's very hot and very sexy and she enjoys it but afterwards she kind of feels uh, maybe shame maybe regret maybe um like wow i can't believe i just did that and let him do that to me i, I liked it but i also feel bad uh, because there's a lot of guilt surrounding sex and when you cuddle with a girl that's going to make her feel reassured that you're there for her emotionally as well. Because if you just fuck her like that and then you come on her face and just walk off and like throw her a fucking towel and like clean yourself up, bitch, like that's uh, gonna make her not feel great. Obviously you're not doing that, but if you don't cuddle with a girl, um, you're not completing the seduction. And when you cuddle with someone after sex, it completes the seduction. It makes her feel like, oh, okay, that was great. You know, uh, all girls, even if a girl just wants a one night stand, she still wants to feel like it wasn't really just a one night stand. She wants to feel like you actually have some sort of care for her. So cuddling communicates that. Obviously you cuddle when you're not having sex, you're cuddling with your girlfriend. Um, you also cuddle before sex. Uh, you're watching a movie. Uh, a lot of times when I'm leading up to sex and maybe, you know, we're kissing, but we're not quite ready to fuck. Um, she needs a bit more emotional connection and maybe a feeling that, you know, I'm not just going to fuck her and leave her. Cuddling can help do that. You know, you're on the bed, you're like, hey, you know, you want to fuck? She's like, oh, I don't know. Just start cuddling. And what's going to happen is you're going to start to create this bond where you guys are being all cute. And then, you know, maybe you couldn't fuck her 10 minutes ago, but now that you've cuddled and created a little bit of a connection, you can start kissing her and, blah, 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 and then slowly she's going to allow you to fuck her because now she feels like there's an emotional connection because again, you're touching and it's creating a physical contact uh, which creates bonding chemicals and makes her feel like, I and mean, that sounds so scientific and like <laughs> create enough bonding chemicals and oxytocin and dopamine so that she's going to have coitus with you. Like that sounds really lame. Um, basically it just makes girls feel fucking good. So cuddle, uh, before sex, after sex, um, I guess sex is some sort of cuddling. <laughs> You're just cuddling inside of her rather than on her. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get to the actual cuddling part. Okay, so the first cuddling position that I wanna go over, we're kind of demonstrating it right now, is her uh, leading on your chest. Um, this especially is good if you are watching a movie, let's say the TV is right there. Um, she's going to feel small. Uh, that's the biggest thing. You want her to feel small, safe, and loved, basically. And then you wanna add a little bit of sexuality into it. But even if you're, she's taller than me, but I have a dominant body language right now, because I'm up, my back is straight, I have a very strong base with my leg right here, um, and she's in a very feminine position, she's resting on my, on my chest, and so this makes her feel small. Uh, she's closed in, she's in a very intimate position with me. Um, we might wanna get a little bit closer, so let's get in. And then, you know, you lean your head down, so this makes her feel safe, it makes her feel loved. Um, you wanna do a lot of touching, 
Um, it's ideal if you don't have clothes on, obviously, because skin to skin contact is, uh, to be a nerd, it's the best way to create that, that emotional connection. It just feels good to have skin uh, on skin and it feels natural. So that's usually gonna happen after sex or maybe you're not having sex yet, but you guys are slowly taking your clothes off. And so you want to do little things like this, just your finger just running up inside her arm. That's gonna create a, uh, it's a very intimate thing. It's so small, but it's such a huge impact and it makes her feel special. You know, you're laying with a girl and maybe, you know, I don't know, sometimes you're thinking, I don't know if she likes me or not. And then she reaches over and she just starts caressing you like this. It's so cute. It communicates so many good things and it makes someone feel so special. Um, and you especially wanna do this after sex. You had a great time and you just got done wrecking her pussy and you're just like, mm, that was so nice, baby. That's so much fun very, very um, bonding or very, very conducive to having an emotional bond and to have a connection with her. Uh, obviously, you don't have to be sitting up like this. This is good if you're watching a movie, but if you are uh, laying down, this is also going to be helpful. And then you can have more contact because again, I'm a little bit more um, up and detached, but if you're laying down, then you can have a more um, complete connection physically. Okay, so this is how you wanna do it if you're actually laying down. Um, she's really placed on you now. Obviously I'm staring up so I can talk to the camera, but really you wanna be like this and you're playing with her hair, you're playing with her hand, you're kissing your forehead and you're just having as much touching as possible and you're um, you're just lost in the moment together, you know? Again, this could be during sex, or not during sex, <laughs> after sex, before sex, or even if there's no sex uh, at all going on right now, you're just enjoying your time with a girl. Um, cuddling is, is it's, it's that speechless, but spectacular way that you're creating a bond with a girl. So that is how you're gonna be doing it um, with the typical, I don't know, fucking name for it. Uh, I usually try to come up with nice phrases for this, but I don't know, just head on chest position. That's probably sufficient to explain. <laughs> uh, head and shoulders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have head and shoulder shampoo. Now introducing head on chest shampoo. <laughs> it's good for cuddling and making your chest hair all nice so that when she's sniffing her chest, <laughs> which is accurate because I have a lot of chest hair. So uh, yeah, I don't know. She, d she does think I'm smelly though. So I probably do need some head and shoulders. <laughs> Okay, so this is the head on chest position. And then obviously the girl is doing her own thing. She's, you know, she's touching you. She's rubbing your chest. Um, especially if, if you fucked your girl good, you know you fucked her good because she's like laying on you like this after sex and she just starts playing with your chest and she's just rubbing you like that. It's one of the best signs that you fucked a girl really good because she's feeling very, very feminine and she just wants to stroke your manly chest and show you, well, you're such a king poppy. You fucked my pussy really good. So uh, that is that position. Um, obviously, if you're taller, you can grab her ass, um, but you just wanna be caressing her a lot. Lots and lots of touching. You can, I mean, just, it's the little things, you know? Your, your foot is in between her legs. You're rubbing your toes against her heel. It just, it's just about flirting, but with your body. So communicate to her as much interest as you can with your body and your words and your kisses. Okay, so now we have the typical spooning position. Uh, for those of you who have spooned before, you understand what dead arm is. If your arm is underneath her body, uh, it's going to eventually die and you're not gonna be able to fucking feel it and it's gonna feel like it's static in your arm. Uh, so what you wanna do is just have it under her head, which is not too heavy, or if you really need to, have it above her head like this so that, um, again, your arm doesn't die. And then what you want to do is, she's taller than me, so I can't quite um, do it perfectly, but you want to have dick to ass uh, position. You want to have it be a little bit more sexual because this can lead to sex because um, sometimes she's going to get frisky and she's going to start pushing her, her ass against your dick and then it's going to lead to you hiking up her dress and then just sticking it in. Uh, so this is a little bit more sexual of a position. Um, and you're playing with her, uh, with her skin right here, you're touching her stomach, you're grabbing her tits, um, you're grabbing her ass, maybe you're rubbing yourself against her, you're kissing her on the cheek, you're whispering things into her ear, um, and you're just, you're just having a very intimate 
time now, whereas the other position was a little bit more romantic, a little bit more soft, a little bit more cuddly. This is obviously more sexual just because of the position where you're very dominant. She's turning her body um, away from you, but her ass towards you. So she's just like presenting herself for you. Um, it's great for sleeping uh, for at least 10 minutes. And then you, of course you roll over and you sleep on your own because sleeping like this is fucking <laughs> horribly hard. As you all know, uh, it sounds great in theory, but then you're like, oh, why am I touching this person? I need to go sleep over here. So um, yeah, it can be very romantic like this. It can be a little bit sexual and you can be like just humping her like a dog. And then you can add the last element that I always like to do is I put my leg over here. What, what did we call it? Koala. Koala, the koala. And so now you just have like total control of her and you can, you can just kiss her like that and you just hug her and just love her and enjoy her and respect her because we respect women here at Girls Chase. So uh, that is the koala slash spooning position. Sorry, I got lost there for a moment. I was, I was just, I forgot I'm on a video. And I was just like, <laughs> drifting off. <laughs> so yeah, that is the spooning position and the koala position. Remember, lots of contact. Um, and if you do want to lead the sex, it's very easy. You just reach your hand down there. And uh, yeah, but this is not a porno. So we will stop right at that point. <laughs> okay, so now we have this position which David wants to call the Illuminati for some reason, and I call it the Netflix and chill. Choose whichever name fits you best. Uh, so let's say the TV's over there. This is great for Netflix and chilling um, because she can, uh, for aesthetic purposes, she's like this, but she could be more up on your chest and she could be watching the TV and you're above her. But this is a very like daddy poppy kind of position where she's just laying against you watching the TV and you have your arm is around her and you're just caressing her face as you're watching TV, you're holding her hands, you can lean over and give her a kiss. Uh, you're just in a dominant, um, but loving and in control position. Uh, and you're above her because that's, again, we wanna focus on dominant body language, but also maximal uh, contact, maximum feelings of being respected and safe and loved. And so this position really uh, communicates that. And these are very simple. That's, these are the only ways that I cuddle. I do the spooning, I do the head on the chest, uh, and then I do this. And it's not that complicated, it's just fucking cuddling. But again, some of you need help with it. Some of you get dead arm and you didn't know how to not get dead arm and cuddling. And I gave you that secret. Maybe some of you are like, how do I Netflix and chill, but you know, her head is on my chest and that position doesn't really feel right and I have to lean my head like this but this is very useful because she can rest her head against your chest, you can rest your head against the, um, against the uh, bed, and then you can have a nice viewing experience, but still be romantic and still be cuddling and still be having a good time before sex, after sex, whenever. Because girls love cuddling, um, it's a fun time, and this is how you fucking do it. This is Hector Poppy Castillo from girlschase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please use these tips to make your beautiful women happy when you are cuddling with them before sex, after sex, whatever. They love it. It makes them bond well uh, to you on an emotional level, on a physical level, on a spiritual level, especially after sex, because when you give a girl a good fucking, like I said, you need to create that uh, safe space where she can feel like, even though you just dominated her in bed, she's in a safe place where she's respected and you actually care about her and you don't just use her like a flashlight and cuddling helps do that. Plus cuddling is fun. I know some guys don't really give a shit about it, but I enjoy it. I enjoy being intimate with women. It's a lot of fun and they enjoy it too. So again, this is Hector Poppy Castillo from girlschase.com. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, remember to check out One Date. It's in the description below. Also check out my college book where you can learn about social circle game and how reputation works and how to use reputation to make friends and get laid. It's called King of College, but it helps you whether you're in college or out of college, high school, it doesn't fucking matter because the principles are the same. People are always the same. Status and reputation always works the same. So that's in the description below. Also, we have a free seven day mini course also in the description. And yeah, like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on social media. Fuck you. Magic.